15 year old is recovering after being impaled by a plank of wood on a basketball court. It all happened in Middleton. Only our Danica Lewis tracked down surveillance video from this bizarre accident and tells us what happened. It's a temporary fix for a very serious accident on Sunday afternoon during a basketball tournament, enough to make parents double check for cracks in all of the floorboards here. And for the man running the tournament who's seen 2,000 games, it's something he has never seen before. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to this one. A now quiet field house was filled with confusion Sunday afternoon as a player went flying into the floor and couldn't get up. And the official said, well, what do you mean? Are you hurt? And she's like, there's a piece of wood stuck to me. Perry Hibner was running the tournament when the 14-year-old Wisconsin Heights player was impaled by the court. The board had split in the middle and stuck into the young player. Her mom, the coach, was quickly by her side. It was three to four inches long, and in some parts of it, probably between a quarter and a half inch deep. Minutes later, emergency crews show up, and everyone else is asked to leave the gym. We thought they were probably going to have to move an entire board in order and then take the board to the hospital. They didn't have to do that, but the eighth grader was loaded up on a stretcher and spent the night at the hospital. None of her internal organs were hit by the wood. I don't know that we'll ever hear something like this ever happening again anywhere. Hibner is especially surprised it happened here in Middleton, where the floor is just 15 years old. For now, a replacement sliver of wood is glued and guarded by garbage cans. It should be permanently fixed in the next week or so. I've got a tournament here in two weeks, and I have every belief that we'll be playing on this court that as well. Hibner is confident that the rest of the court will hold up and says he doesn't expect any legal action against the school district. Kind of like a st strike of lightning where you just don't think those things are going to happen. I mean, it was a complete fluke. Hoping that unlucky lightning doesn't strike twice. I just think sometimes strange things happen and there's no explanation for the phenomena. And even though it was a scary situation for players and parents, Hibner says the girl who was injured here on Sunday afternoon is expected to be ready to play in the near future. For WISC News 3, I'm Danica Lewis.